Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan. Thanks so much for stopping by today. We're bringing you along for a little day in our life today. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm out to move the girls. The chickens are all taken care of, so now we're going to go for a morning walk and check on all the different growing areas and garden beds to see how things are growing. We have had a very eventful weekend. What was supposed to be uh, me holding down the fort here while Daddy was out of town at a five-day work conference <sighs> turned into Daddy doing a lot of driving in uh, about eight hours just to make a round trip because this little guy had a seizure. He's never had seizures before and uh, it was awful. Look at the baby raspberries, bud. You like them, Cooper? Yeah. Do you like them? Do you see the baby squash? <gasps> it's a little squash. We have never successfully grown summer squash in our earth garden, but for some reason it is loving the raspberry bed by the road. So Sunday afternoon, he fell asleep for a late nap. So I just laid him on the couch while I went to make dinner. I had just started making dinner when I heard a scream and mama's know. There are cries that you can uh, ignore. <laughs> there are cries that you go see what's wrong. And then there are cries where you run. And this is one where you run. The berries. Yeah, strawberries are growing really well, but they do need a little weeding. So I ran. I'll spare you the details, but he was on the couch having a seizure and it lasted easily five minutes and it was terrifying and there are just some things about that that I think will be burned in my memory forever. So my first reaction naturally was to call daddy who had left hours earlier and had just gotten to his destination. Oh, I smell skunk. Cooper, get out of there. I smell skunk over there. And lots of elderberry blossoms, and I think our poppies are winding down for the year. That dill is out of control. So I called Daddy, and I said, Solomon's having a seizure. And maybe I didn't say it, maybe I screamed it, and maybe I was crying hysterically. I said, I don't know what to do. Well, I mean, I did know what to do. I am, I've been CPR certified and trained for years and I know how to handle those uh, type of first response situations. But it's never been my kid. And he said, did you call 911? I said, oh, I'll do that. You know. So I called 911 and they were on their way really quick. And then we called our friend Lauren to come sit with the other kids. And the ambulance came and away we went. Thankfully, uh, Annie is old enough that she and Gabe and the other kids could hold down the fort until Miss Lauren got here, which wasn't long because God bless her, she ran out the door. I'm so grateful that our teeny tiny ambulance corps is very close to us. We were on the way to the uh, pediatric ER very quickly. So we went to the hospital and Daddy got on his way home. And in the end, we were there for a good long while. And even though he was in full status seizure, after those initial five minutes, he did have a lot of ongoing um, jerking and twitching and we stayed for observation for a while 
as far as diagnosis, nobody knows. He had a teeny tiny fever, but he's getting all four two-year-old molars. Hence the presence of that thing in his mouth. Huh. Yeah, he just sits there and chews on it. There was nothing saying, yes, this is a febrile seizure. There was nothing saying it's not. It just was a really intense seizure. And we don't know why. So we're under strict instructions to watch him and monitor his temperature carefully. And even though it's just teething stuff, you know, watch it, watch for a trend, watch for spikes, and watch for twitching. They didn't do a CT scan or an EEG because they felt like the risks of uh, the necessary general anesthesia for him and the pediatrician said the uh, radiation from a CT scan on one so tiny when it's not really, really necessary. Um, is questionable. We skip those steps and now we wait. And we watch him. We watch him. Which if you're a mom you know this means most of my day is spent staring at him. And naturally since the whole episode started with a scream every time he makes a displeased noise I run and stare at him some more. So this week is not going as planned but my baby is here and he's alive and I'm so grateful yeah and it's onward with this Tuesday Go. good boy all right guys let's turn off the TV and get some chores done while I make breakfast okay where's Ella is she still sleeping yeah nice so we're gonna make breakfast and eat breakfast and clean up from breakfast and probably do chores after that Breakfast is done and we started some picking up. I got laundry done, uh, vacuumed the living room. Um, I can pretty much clean that room 80 times a day and it always ends up a mess because that's like the hub of activity in our house. But I figure if I start the day with the floor vacuumed, at least at one point in the day it was clean, whether by bedtime it looks like we live in a barn. <laughs> uh, Annie and Gabe unloaded the dishwasher. And he's out playing now, outside. Uh, Gabe's sweeping the stairs for me like a sweet boy, and Aaron's upstairs helping with a little picking up too. Ella's legs started hurting her really bad at breakfast. I think she might have had a muscle cramp, so she's in laying down with some essential oils on it that I massaged in. The baby's kind of fluttering around uh, all over. You can hear him squealing. Uh, I got some laundry going as well. I don't know if I said that. No, it's time to clean the kitchen. This kitchen is always a mess. I mean, as you can see, it is not a big kitchen. I love that they utilize the space to make it U-shaped because that really, uh, I think, maximized the use of the space. But it's not big enough for an island. And I just, when I am cooking from scratch for seven people all day, every day, it gets a mess really fast so it's just always cluttered but I pick it up several times a day and it gets to looking nasty if I just were out of our regular routine and I don't get the pickups done I've got my laptop on the counter turn on my YouTube subscriptions get in the kitchen picked up Yeah? He is a wipe. All right, kitchen's picked up a little. I usually kind of start in one corner and just work my way around. Dishwasher's full, a couple of things are wiped. Me. The dishwasher's ready to be loaded again. We'll come back to it. I'm gonna go in and check on Ella. See how she's feeling. Should we go check on Ella? Yay. Yeah. 
Hey, Chickadee. Hi. How's your leg feeling? Good. Yeah? Still hurting? Kind of. Yeah? Do you want to try to stand up? Yeah. Why don't we go upstairs and get you uh, in a bath, okay? Okay. All right. Do you want my help getting the bath running, or can you do it yourself? I need help. Yay. Okay. You can help? Yay. Okay. Let's go get sister a bath. Ella's up in the tub, Annie's up cleaning the girls' room, and Sally's playing with her. The boys are cleaning their room. I just got done scrubbing some spots on the carpet because someone got into the trash, and apparently Salsa doesn't agree with his stomach. Thanks for that. You're a peach. He doesn't always dig in the trash. When he does, it's what he shouldn't have. As soon as we're done with these morning chores, I think we're going to go out. Uh, to the library. I'm kind of paranoid to... Come on, kitty. To leave the house because, I don't know, my brain says I can stare at Solomon better at home. We're gonna go to the library. Annie finished her books and she's been begging for a trip for days and everybody else just kind of like, okay, sure. We pretty much go to the library for Annie because she reads everything in sight. We're on our way to the library. Are there any particular books you guys are looking for today? Nancy Drew. Oh, more Nancy Drew. We're looking for the all time books again. Oh, dog cool. Man books. More dog man? Yeah. Awesome. Anything you're looking for, Gabe? Nothing in particular. Just good books for reading? Yeah. Okay. It's Sally. Say hi. And Aaron. Hi. And Gabe. And Ella. Ella has a loose tooth. <laughs> yeah. Very sad. You kiki, he's showing the kikis. Oh, kikis. Cool. Like the Lord of the Fleas. It kind of sounds funny because it's the Lord of the Fleas. Yeah. Like attacking fleas, attacking people. <laughs> Who's your favorite character in Dog Man? Cat Kid. Cat Kid. He's cute. We're at the library. Hey right, guys, come on, Bear Bear. You gotta stop reading to climb out. You might fall. Need some help, Sully? Come here. I know. His left side's been a little weak since his seizure. Yeah. So he's a little wobbly. Makes stairs a little scary. It is getting quite warm out, and we all have these wonderful brand new books, huh, Ella? So I think we might just have a little downtime. Reading books, give the baby some snuggles since he's feeling sad. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do until lunchtime. It's about 1.15. Oh, well, we got home from the library, so I'll just keep getting... Uh, went from whiny to just sobbing nonstop and I just had to hold him and I think he has a headache. It's hard to tell because he's not he's not really verbal, but he started getting really aggressive and was like pinching me and slapping me and headbutting me and he just was crying so hard. And you all know I, I like to take the holistic route first, with various means, but I just, I felt like there was nothing I could do for him, so I just gave him a dose of Motrin. And within like 20 minutes, he was a little better. He did eat lunch, which he didn't really eat much breakfast, so that is really good. I was really happy with that. He started getting really weepy again. So I cleaned up the kitchen. I got laundry, changed over and out on the clothesline while holding him. <laughs> And uh, he played with Daddy in his office a little bit. I'm grateful to hold him. 
it is tiresome to be screamed at and hit and pinched and kicked and headbutted and have to hold someone very close to your face <laughs> for hours on end while they're doing that. But I'm grateful he's alive to do it. So I put him down for his nap a little early. Um, he went right to sleep. And then the, the kids were folding laundry. Got uh, their laundry folding station out here. I didn't want him. I didn't want him to put the laundry away right away because a lot of that has to go upstairs where Saul's sleeping. So, um, sent everybody up to bed after they were done with laundry. Husband and I both watched Saul for a little bit. And we're trying to determine, like, is that sleep twitching or is that seizure activity? And now I'm going to read because I am woefully behind on my book study. The Life-Giving Parent by Sally and Clay Clarkson. Yeah, so let's be doing this with a group of wonderful ladies on Instagram and life uh, kind of walloped me at the same time that I got to starting this. I've got a cold drink, I've got the baby monitor, I've got my phone right at the bottom of the stairs so I can hear the baby and get to him quick and I'm going to read because I'm not like tired like I need to sleep tired, I'm like mentally tired. So I'm gonna read and relax. And hopefully he's feeling better when he wakes up. We'll see. So this day turned really interesting. When Saul woke up from his nap, he just was an inconsolable mess. Um, and he was just holding his head and screaming ow. Yeah. So we called the pediatrician's office and they said they could get us in right away, so we went. And it turned out to be useless. The pediatrician wasn't even there. The only person there was a nurse practitioner who's new and we've never seen before. Um, and she literally listened to everything and then just gave him a once over, like check the ears, nose, throat, listened to the heart and lungs, looked all over for rashes and then said, uh, yeah, so I guess maybe, like, in a week, if he's still doing this, come back. I'm like, I I'm going to sit here and let my two-year-old cry hysterically all day and barely eat for a week and just call it normal before I do anything about it. Sorry, that's not the kind of mother that I am. I tried like reframing the question, asking her lots of different things to try to get more information, and she literally just like kept shrugging her shoulders. She's like, Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you wanted to get a neurology consult, or you know, if he has another seizure, take him to the emergency room. Like, yeah, obviously. Anyways, it, it was a waste of $120 and my time and just ended up making me cry. Like, so we'll definitely be asking who's there before we make another appointment at that office to make sure we don't see her because she was completely useless. Anyway, I came home, I cried for a while, and then I made dinner. We just finished dinner and I need to clean up <sighs> and just let my brain rest. So we're going to call it quits here today. What's up? Long really long clouds? Yeah. That one is the sky. Guys, that's not a cloud. That's a chemtrail from the airplanes. Those stripes going back and forth. Chemical trails from airplanes. Oh. Sorry to burst your bubble. So anyway, we're gonna call it quits tonight. We're gonna just gaze at the chemtrails in awe. Get some rest. Maybe watch the baby chase the other kids with a shovel because right now it's making him happy and he's not crying. Oh, if you pray, <laughs> friends, say a prayer for my Sally. That we, he either gets better or we figure out what's going on and can get him help. 
because this wait and see thing does not work real well for me. <laughs> All right. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, guys. Share it. If anybody else wants to get a chuckle at us. And subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye.